Welcome, I'm Jeff Blunt. I'm the Executive Pastry Chef here at Aspire at Central Piedmont Community College and the Program Chair for the Baking and Pastry Arts degree program. Today we're going to be talking about using quite a few different products while cooking salmon uh, with a little Cajun flair, a little heat to it today. We're also going to talk about risotto and some of the products that Tropical Nut and Fruit can provide you while you're having this product brought to your table. So we're first going to start off with a really hot pan. Uh, we have this beautiful Cajun spice. We're going to take our salmon. This is a wild Alaskan salmon. We're actually going to sprinkle this powder just right over the top. It's okay if it's a little heavy at first because when we turn it over, you'll notice that it's not going to do anything but stick in those certain spots. All right, so after we get that, take our hot pan, put it skin side down, or what would have been the skin side. We actually took that skin off for the application today. And we've got that pretty good and hot. I'm going to turn that flame up just a little bit. We'll go ahead and put in the second portion. Now, today we want to talk a little bit about the fact that this is called bronzing, not as much blackening. If I wanted to be blackening this product, same spice mix works for the blackening, but you definitely want to use a, a cast iron skillet. Now, also, the heat can be increased with a little bit of sugar added into the mixture if you need to, but it is fine right on its own. So we're going to get that going, about four to five minutes on each side. It is okay, folks, if you go ahead and serve that, that Cajun salmon just a little bit mid-rare. You don't want to dry that out. Second thing we're going to talk about today, you can see that beautiful bronze right there. Second thing we're going to talk about today is a risotto. So we're going to turn this down and put it back in the back, let that finish off. Our risotto itself, please understand that risotto is a process. It's not a product. The actual process of cooking an Arborio rice. Now, we're going to use the Arborio rice from Roland, available at Tropical Nut and Fruit, and we're going to put some wild mushroom in it. So I'm going to go over the process. So we're going to take a little bit of oil and our Arborio. And we're going to actually toast the Arborio just a little bit. So after you get that toasted, take your rubber spatula. You're going to move it around. You want to coat all of the Arborio rice with that oil. So this is going to take quite some time to actually cook a risotto. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you a couple different stages of it. We have our chicken stock, and after this gets good and hot, a little bit of salt and pepper. You don't want to go too far. We're going to take our chicken stock and we're going to actually add it. I usually go around twice, give it a little shuffle. And what's going to happen is the starches are going to actually hydrolyze and take some of that liquid into it. It's going to get bigger and softer, so that's going to take a little while. So as that first batch goes, then you can then do it again. And you, once again, keep stirring, keep stirring. And this process will usually take about 10 to 15 minutes for a small batch. As you move forward in the process, you're going to actually have, you can see it starts to get really fluffy and soft. And then there's this creaminess that really comes forward with the risotto. So we want to actually add a couple of ingredients to this risotto today. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this wonderful product here. This is a dried forest blend mushroom. Now the important part you have to realize about, the, about dried mushrooms, a wild exotic mushroom, they're very expensive fresh. You can lose a lot of money in the refrigerator, in the cooler. In this case, Tropical Nut and Fruits brought you a product that you can literally take this one dry container and take your hot water and just pour it right over the top. And after about five minutes, really good hot water, you're going to end up with this. Beautiful mushrooms, reconstituted, ready to go. You can save the liquor or the, or the liquid that is left over if you'd like, but you can also take this product and then chop it up like we've done here, and you can tell it's nice and soft, much like I already have those mushrooms right out of my cooler fresh. And it does bring a nice woodsy, nutty flavor to the mix. It's typically not there when you use fresh. So we've got a little bit more of our stock. 
Now to finish this one up, we're going to take some of our cream. And we're going to take that and just mix it in. And then we're going to take some of our Parmesan. Nice, beautiful risotto. We're going to take some of our Parmesan, sprinkle it right over the top. Fold that through, and then we're going to take our wild mushrooms and fold that through as well. So we'll take a little bit of our mushrooms, put them right inside. There's no need to cook the wild mushrooms while you're cooking the risotto. They're already nice and soft and tender. But if you would like to use some of that reserve stock in some of the liquid, that's fine too. All right. So now we've got our risotto. Nice, beautiful. And give it just a little bit more seasoning. And always make sure you taste the season, make sure it's there. Sometimes the mushrooms can, can bring a little bit of mineral flavor to the mix. And it sometimes can be wanted and sometimes can be uh, not desired as well. So we're going to take our plate, take our spoon. Take a little bit of our risotto. That's good. Right there. Remove our risotto out of the way for a moment. Come back to our, our salmon. So you can take that nice bronzed salmon, lay it right on top. And then we have this wonderful product. This is a Cajun spiced pumpkin seed. Now this is gonna bring a little bit of crunch um, and those beautiful seeds are gonna be a nice um, floral flavor of pumpkin with a little bit of heat in the back end. And most importantly, gonna bring through some of that crunch. So we're gonna put a little bit of that across the top. And small note, chefs, this is a good product to have in your kitchen. You can mix this with some of your bar snacks, and that'll help increase some of your business at the bar as well. So there we have it, a nice, beautiful bronze salmon, a little bit of wild mushroom risotto, brought to you today by a little bit of the product that's available here at Tropical Nut and Fruit. Let us know how we can help. Thank you, and have a great day.